For example, when I went to Kenya, I went in, in, in a cho. I went with uh, Ready Pay. Stand-up comedy may look <laughs> easy, backstage, but professionals the, say the it is anything show. but that. I've just remembered my joke. Should I go back? <laughs> <laughs> Should I go back? Habat Seguja, a popular Ugandan comedian best known for mimicking the country's president Museveni, says stand-up comedy is ruthless. Starting out can be miserable and very often humiliating. Comedy can't be taught. You are either funny or not funny. Yeah. So you must have you, you must that you must have that funny bone in order to become a comedian. So what we did, what we do in comedy clinic, we don't teach comedy. Rather we share skills and techniques of of the comedy craft. The workshop here has attracted more than twenty students. Every session starts with a prayer and then a warm-up exercise. According to the instructors, who are also local comedians, the clinic helps the newcomers turn professional. You know this is an era of social media. People take photos, but when it reaches me, I have to hold a torch and a camera at the same time. So They learn a variety of techniques, from microphone use, how to move around on stage, to how jokes are structured and audience expectations. Are these kids ready for sale? Because you have to concentrate in comedy. You have to be very alert in the event that there are challenges, especially from hecklers. Uh, uh, some of the exercises uh, help them to build, to build their, uh, their act. For example, if, if you have your jokes, where, how do you identify the punchline? So you borrowed my money two months ago thinking that what you're going to do Comedy nights are huge in Kampala. The students use this chance to practice what they have learned. I just came into comedy. I knew nothing because I was inspired by Kansini. But because of the clinic, I knew how to prepare my jokes, how to deliver the jokes. It is basically you and what you know about like comedy and what maybe you've watched. But after the clinic, you know, you get all these techniques, like how to present yourself on stage. It is, it is a whole, like, it is part of, you become like a complete comedian, how to conduct yourself in public, how to be on stage, how to interact with the audience. You get all those techniques and then when you put them together, you get like a full package. Today, I have a special gift for you. You are going to like it. Comedy is a growing form of entertainment in Uganda. It reveals the funny side of everyday life in politics, society and business. This blend of laugh out loud humor has brought comedians widespread acclaim, both within the country and abroad. A decade ago, comedy had a low profile in Uganda. Today, it's growing fast. We have seen several Ugandan comedians who started just a few years ago being uh, identified to perform internationally. So that speaks volumes about the industry. Actually, I always tell comedians in Uganda that you all need to buy shades because the future is bright. You need to do this and this. Those are some For now, the, the brains behind the clinic hope that joking aside, the current clinic can grow into a fully-fledged academy. Michael Baleke, CCTV, Kampala.